Hello and welcome to chapter 7 section 3. Today we're going to talk about multiplying exponents and the first thing we have to learn are the basic rules for simplifying. Simplifying is not the same as solving. When you're solving you know that x equals something and we're not trying to find out what x equals. We're just trying to take something that's complicated and break it down into something simpler. You can't have negative exponents in an answer. x to the negative 4 is not a simplified answer. You have to actually write it 1 over x to the 4th. So this is like having fractions and your answer being 2 fourths instead of 1 half. This is simplified. You can't have powers that are raised to powers. You can actually have a problem that says x squared to the third power and that actually is x to the sixth and we'll talk to th about this soon. The same base does not occur more than once in a product or quotient. So here I have a product that says a to the negative 2 times b times a and you see how I have a twice here? I actually have to put a squared on the bottom and a b on the top and see that two of my a's cancel out of there and we're going to work on this kind of problem as well. No products are raised to powers. So here I have a times b raised to the fourth. I actually have to know that there are four a's and four b's. That four has to be distributed. Similarly, no quotients are raised to powers. So I can't have s over t to the fifth. I have s to the fifth over t to the fifth. And then finally, numerical coefficients in a quotient do not have common factors. Remember, coefficients are the numbers before the variables, and our coefficients can't have a common factor. Here, 10 and 4 both have 2 that can go into it, and so we're going to divide 2 out of it when we simplify, and so it's, the answer is really going to be 5a squared over 2b. We're going to work on these as we go, but if you get answers that aren't correct, consider one of these rules that you might have to apply. So let's start on a few of these. Products of powers with the same base is like repeated multiplication. So if I've got a problem that says 3 to the 5th times 3 squared, it has the same base of 3. What this is really saying is 3 to the 5th, 3 times 3 times 3 squared equals 3 to the 7th. Now, you don't have to write them all out like this because what we really are doing is we're saying 3 to the 5 plus 2. So we're adding these together when we multiply powers with the same base. Let's try another one. 5 to the 3rd times 5 to the 4th is really going to be 5 to the 3 plus 4, which is 5 to the 7th. And right now, we don't have to solve this, we're just simplifying it. So this and this would be our answer. Let's try some that are a little more complicated. Here we have 4 squared times 3 to the negative 2 times 4 to the 5th times 3 to the 6th. First thing we're going to do is group them together by their similar bases. So this, I'm going to get all the 4's here and I've got a 4 to the 2 and a 4 to the 5th times, and I'm going to group all my 3's, 3 to the negative 2 plus 6. And so I'm going to end up with 4 to the 7th times 3 to the 4th. Now I want you to look at this for a minute. Here I have 3 to the negative 2 plus and 3 to the 6th. That looks like this. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 over 3 times 3. And 3 over 3 is 1, so we can cancel these out. And 3 over 3 times 1, and we can cancel these out, and we end up with, whoops, I didn't put enough 3's up. And we end up with the four threes left over. So you can see how mathematically, arithmetically, this works. So you can count your negative and your positive numbers and add them together just like you would usually. Here we have y squared times y times y to the negative fourth. Now we know that if it's just a y, this really is a one. So when we gather all these together, this is gonna be two plus one minus and 3 minus 4 gives us y to the negative 1. 
So our answer is really 1 over y, because we can't have a negative exponent if we're simplifying. Pause here and do check it out number one. There are four problems in the middle of page 475. Give these a try and then we'll go through the answers together when you get back. Check it out number 1a is 7 to the 8th times 7 to the 4th which gives us 7 to the 12th. B, we're going to group our 3's together so it's 3 to the negative 3 plus 4 which is 3 to the 1 which is 3. And our 5's are 5 to the 8 plus 2, which is 5 to the 10th, and this is our final answer. C, we're going to group our m's together, so this is an m to the 1, so this is m to the 1 plus 4, which is m to the 5th, and we bring down our n to the negative 4. So we're going to put our m to the 5th on top, and our n to the negative 4 on the bottom, and this is going to be our final answer. Here we have all x's, so we have an x to the 1, minus 1, minus 3, minus 4, and 1 minus 1 is 0, and then we have a negative 3 and a negative 4. Our answer, x to the negative 7, is 1 over x to the 7. Okay? Please me if you had any difficulties with these. Next, we're going to take a look at the word problem. Please follow along on page 475 about astronomy. Light from the sun travels at 1.86 times 10 to the fifth miles per second. And light takes about 500 seconds to go from the sun to the earth. And the question is, what is the distance from the sun to the earth? So we're going to take our light speed, 1.86 times 10 to the fifth, and we're going to multiply it by 500, but they want us to use scientific notation. So this is really 5 times 10, whoops, times 10 squared, because 10 squared is 100. When we're multiplying these two, again, we're going to put our bases together. So we have numbers, we have 1.86 times 5, and we have 10s times 10 to the fifth plus 2. 10 to the fifth times 10 to the 2 is going to be 10 to the seventh. And 1.86 times 5 is 9.3 times. And so we have our scientific notation, distance from the earth. And because this is distance, we need words. So it's going to be miles. Try, check it out, number two on the bottom of page 475. It works with this same idea, okay? Check it out, number two has light speed at 1.86 times 10 to the 5 times 60 seconds times 60 minutes. That gets us up to an hour. So we have this times 60 times 60 is really 3,600. And so scientific notation puts the decimal here, and I had to move the decimal three times to get it there. So now I've got, I'm going to group my two together. I'm going to say these two times these two, and 5 and 3 are 8, and when I multiply these two I get 6.696 times 10 to the 8 miles. That's our distance. To find the power of a power, we're going to multiply. If I have 4 to the 3rd squared, that's really 4 to the 3rd times 4 to the 3rd, which is really 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. 4 to the 3rd times 4 to the 3rd, which is going to give us 4 to the 6th. So when you have a power to a power, the shortcut is to multiply. 3 times 2 gives us 6. Let's try a couple more. 5 squared to the 4th is really 4 sets of 5 squareds. Here's 1 set, 2 sets, 3 sets, four sets. And that's going to give us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 5 to the 8th. Now, x squared to the negative fourth is 1 over x squared to the fourth, which is 1 over x, whoops, x to the eighth times x to the fifth is going to give us x5 over x8. Now, x times x, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If I've got 5x's up here and 8x's down here, these 
cancel out and I end up with 1 over x to the third. Sometimes you have to draw yourself some pictures to really see and understand what you're doing. If you get it, the shortcut for division, just like the shortcut for repeated multiplication is adding, the shortcut for repeated division is subtracting. So 5 minus 8 is negative 3. So it's 1 over x cubed. Pause here. Try check it out number three on the bottom of page 476 and come back when you're done. So check it out number three A. Three to the fourth to the fifth is three to the twentieth. Six to the zero to the three. Zero times three is zero still. So that answer is one because anything to the zero power is one. A to the third to the fourth is a to the twelfth. A to the negative two to the negative three is a to the positive six. And here I'm going to add these together and our answer is a to the 18th. And finally, the powers of products can be found by using the meaning of the exponent. So 8x cubed is really 8x times 8x times 8x, but this is really separable. What this is really saying is 8 times 8 times 8 times x times x times x. So if you want to simplify this, it's really 8 cubed x cubed. And then what you would do is find what 8 cubed is. So our total answer would be 5 12 x cubed. Let's try another one. Negative 3 x squared. This is really negative 3 times negative 3 times x squared. And negative 3 times negative 3 is a positive 9. So we have 9x squared. Let's get a little more complicated. x to the negative 2 times y to the 0 all to the third power. So, so we're going to take each of these separately. We're going to say this one times 3 and this one times to the third power. So this is 1 over x squared to the third, which is the same as 1 over x to the sixth. y to the zero is one, and one to the third power is still gonna be one. So you don't, you get to ignore that one, and our answer is one over x to the sixth. Here we go, this looks like fun. This is going to be a to the two times five, which is 10, times b to the 2 times 5, which is 10. And this all goes on the denominator. The negative takes me to the denominator, and this is a to the 5 times 2, which is 10. Now I've got an a10 up here and an a10 down there, and all 10 of those a's are going to cancel. So our final answer is going to be b to the 10th. You've got number four. Check it out on page 477. Give it a try so you can see what it's like and have me walk you through it. Push pause and then come back when you're done to check your answer. So for 4a, 4p to the third is 4 to the third times p to the third, which is 64p to the third. Negative 5t squared squared is negative 5 squared, which is 25, times t squared squared, which is t to the fourth. x squared to the fourth is x8. y cubed to the fourth is y12. x squared to the negative 4 is negative 8. y4 to the negative 4 is y to the negative 16. Now, I did this in my head, x to the 8, times x to the negative 8 is x to the 0, and y to the 12 times y to the negative 16 is y to the negative 4. x to the 0 goes away, and my y to the 4th goes in the denominator. And that's our answer. Your homework for tonight starts on page 478. You're going to do numbers 18 to 52. It's a lot of numbers, but a lot of these you look at and you know what number to write down. This will go very quickly and give you a lot of practice in getting those simplification rules down pat. All right, I will see you tomorrow.